Hello everybody, how's it going? This is Mr. Willy, also known as Iron Python on Minecraft, and I'm on my server today to give you a big tutorial about a lot of little tutorials. So instead of having to do seven tutorials and you have to find them all and they're all like a minute long, I decided I might as well just make it one big one. I also want to mention that Walter, our rumor guy, as you see, he says this message, and you've probably read this message before, but we actually have more messages for him. There's two ways of realizing this. One, you just right click him. And there you go. Happy holidays, everyone. I hope Santa Cube got me the TNT I wanted this year. Um, a new rumor, which means something has been added to the town, or he's just trying to mention something. Oh, he tries swimming in lava. That never works. The other way is just walking away and walking back. And walking away and walking back. And okay. So if you've. If he keeps saying the two messages over and over again, you've read both of them. We try not to add more than two messages for him. Um, so just right click him and he'll say the second message. Right click him again. If he says the first message again, you've read them all. Now, he was mentioning about these wonderful scuba men. Snowmen. No. Um, <laughs> snow scuba men. Now, that's just because of my texture pack. But the snowmen and the Merry Christmas sign, which. It's not showing properly because, uh, for some reason, one of the redstone wires is not loading on my version of the game. But it is there. It was working for me like five minutes ago. But I walked away and came back, and it's not showing up properly. But the one better doom made this, and so I wish to show you guys that before, um, you know, it, you know, got removed. Because we're gonna remove this in about a day or two. So hop on with your friends and. Stand on top of this candy cane and get some photos taken with the Merry Christmas sign. Um, and I hope you guys are having a great holiday, whether that's Christmas or whether it's Hanukkah or whatever you believe in. I hope you guys are having a grand time and having a lot of fun with your friends and family. But I wish to mention here a bit of a small tutorial. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to cut it off there because I needed to help someone out. Um, but back to the tutorial. Now, if somebody's doing something that's... Um, inappropriate or you know goes against the rules foul language or you know griefing or maybe they're have a hacked minecraft and so they're flying or something like that that they're not allowed to do and you need to report it to a gm well this is what you do flash report and then the player's name that you see doing the whatever he's doing so the wombat of doom now they have to be online to do this way I'll show you how to do it when they're not online. So, you know, like if you see griefing but you don't know who it is, or maybe you do know who it is but they're not online at the time, I'll show you how to do that as well. But if they're online, you just type in their name, and then you type in a brief description of what's going on. So that could be like griefing, um, or like bad language, or, you know, keeps PVPing me, you know, anything that you want wish to report about another player now don't go abusing this or anything this is for you to help us help you guys so if you guys start abusing the report system and start giving us you know misreports and all that it's not going to help anyone so i'm trying to help you guys here so make sure you give us you know a brief nice description and why i say brief is this bar is pretty much all you can fit for the description if you start going past this bar um, it won't end up in the in the report and so we're gonna get a cutoff report if we need more information we'll ask you because it tells us who made the report so we can ask you specifically if we need more information like it wasn't enough now when you're done all you do is hit enter and that's it you'll see report submitted thank you we will see reporter a report has just been submitted at index 1 and we can view that report if we're on and it because it'll say the message right away and we always try and read reports as soon as they happen um, unless we're like we're really busy with something we'll do it as soon as we can if we log off like we're logged off or whatever when you make the report the moment we log on we'll get this message now you'll see here two reports because I was doing some tests and showing some people and here I cleared all the reports so I always clear the reports when I'm done you uh, reviewing them and all that stuff so We'll see, oh, hey, there's two reports that haven't, that's haven't that been submitted and haven't been fixed. When we're fixed with it, we complete them, and then the next day we delete them. So we always keep track of any reports that are made. Now, if you need to make a report on something that's like somebody's not there, but you know who it is, you put the explanation mark, 
and then you can type in like player and their name so the one better doom and you know comma and what they did if you don't know who it is you can just say you know um, just griefing and we'll teleport to that area that the report was made and see what might have been griefed um, we'll just assume that you don't know who it is or you just want to shortly do it which is fine um, but it is a very nice thing to tell us uh, what's going on in as much detail as you can but making it brief now if it's a bug like let's say um, for some reason you put a chest with a locket sign on it you come back and the chest and locket signs not there just say like bug chest missing had locket come on <laughs> sign on it now just enter and the report will be submitted and now it's at index 2 and we know that you submitted that report so definitely write these down it's super simple it's just report slash their name or the explanation mark and a description of what the report is and we will get back to you or at least just fix the report as soon as possible um, and it's definitely a good idea for you guys to remember so favorite write it down whatever you need to I'm gonna go ahead and go on to the rest of the tutorials because I got about six or so more to do and I want to make this as short as possible still gonna be kind of a long video but I mean I got six things I'm showing you so it's definitely useful so stick around for so the first smaller plugin I'm gonna show you is called IntelliDoor this one's one that runs in the background you don't actually have to do anything and what it does is it makes doors intelligent and what I mean by that is I can open this door and I'm gonna look away just to prove it'll close after five seconds of being opened it will automatically do that or I even do this so you don't worry about someone else sneaking around the corner here <laughs> but it'll automatically close the door after five seconds of opening it so you don't have to turn around and close the door again it'll also auto close doors after a pressure plate after two seconds the reason why it's two seconds and not instantly like it normally is is so that people who are following you like maybe you're showing your house around that kind of stuff the door won't slam in their face which happens a lot in multiplayer without this kind of thing in it uh, it's very good it gets very annoying for the person behind you especially if they have a little bit of slower internet and keep doors keep getting smashed in their face um, so with you know pressure plates and all that so our server is a little bit more intelligent than that also double doors they work together I know it's so lovely and yes you can close the door manually if you want like maybe you're going through and you do not want the person behind you following you can slam the door in their face this is usually you know for a private house and that kind of thing so you don't have to worry about somebody sneaking in while your door is open now it also works for redstone wiring now no, normally you know if you had a pressure plate on this side it would open this door you'd have to do some major circuitry underneath to get the other door working well now with us pressure plates buttons any redstone connection to a door once again they'll act intelligently I know it's lovely isn't it so that is one of the plugins that we have that is very useful while we're in Balger, er, relic I'm gonna go ahead and show you another plugin that we use called auto replace this plugin is extremely useful and as far as 1.0 came out because they haven't updated it yet only has one drawback so I'll tell you the amazing things it can do and the one drawback so the amazing things it can do is automatically replace what you have now I've got this one brick and I've got 11 more in my hand or in my inventory but they're not in the toolbar this is very useful for people who are building large structures if I place this one brick, like maybe I had a stack of 64 or something and I'm on my last one and I place it, I'd have to go in my inventory, click the brick and another 64 or whatever I have left, go back down here, get out of my inventory and then continue building. With our plugin, and by the way the only reason I can build in here is because I'm an admin, uh, nobody can build in Relic unless you own property. So just in case you try and it tells you you can't, this is why, um, I place it and see this 11 that was in my inventory gets put into my hand exactly where it was so I can continue my building spree so that is extremely useful for people who are bi making big structures and all that not only does it work on bricks uh, any material like you know it didn't replace it with the sand it replaced it with the same material and it'll do that for glass and sand and all that if you have this material and you have some more in your inventory you'll do that it also works on tool now I don't have a duplicate of any tool but I'll just explain it in the sense that you know if you have the shovel 
you're digging through a lot of dirt and you have maybe you built three extra shovels in your inventory just in case if, when this breaks they'll automatically replace it with one of the ones in your inventory um, now if you have an enhanced tool like maybe you have an enhanced shovel that has efficiency plus one and it breaks it will not give you another efficiency plus one it'll just give you a normal shovel um, but it will replace even enhanced tools with the same kind of tool in your inventory so definitely very useful when you're mining and all that you can still build like two extra pickaxes or whatever and it'll automatically replace it once that pickaxe breaks now the drawback potions I have two instant health potions here so when I drink this instant health potion it will replace it with another instant health potion wonderful the problem is if I have an instant health potion and then a potion of harming uh, and I drink the instant health potion I'm not paying attention it might replace the potion with the potion of harming why is that well it's because it hasn't been updated to 1.0 yet so it doesn't know the differences between the potion variables so try to be careful when you're drinking potions and you have harmful ones or even other ones that you don't might maybe want to use like maybe you don't want to use your swiftness potion yet but you want to use your healing one definitely make sure you're drinking the potion you want to drink because it will auto replace it with any potion because it just sees them all as the same potion um, so that's the only drawback to that now I'm gonna go ahead and just stand here because this one just involves explaining now some of you guys might have built or feel like building um, monster traps you know some kind of contraption maybe a huge dome or box above your house that monsters will spawn in well first off you can't build them because you can't build it monsters don't spawn in town so you know you can't build other any place but town but let's say you find a way of using a, a natural cave formation to herd them into lava <laughs> well first off monsters will only drop items if you have actually killed them so if they get killed by something like cactuses or drowning or suffocation or lava they won't drop anything so no if there's a cactus here I can't hide behind it and have the keep creeper die from the cactus and then pick up the TNT that's to prevent monster builders from or monster contraptions to be built farming contraptions there we go to be built so no monster mob farming can happen in our server that's one of the small ones that I wish to mention now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you one more or actually a couple more in a bit hold on hello everybody how's it going now I'm back and I'm flying above a really high height and I'm about to turn off my flying ability as a GM And the reason why is I want to show you a plugin that we use for when you die now this plugin is very useful the only times it doesn't work is if you get blown up by a creeper or you fall into um, lava and the reason why is well I'll go ahead and just show you hit the ground too hard now it's gonna respawn but normally in a normal minecraft game your stuff would go everywhere and you would have to gather it up and it's a pain and I'm back in the spawn port Woo I'm gonna go and just teleport because I'm cheap like that um, and you'd have to go and find your stuff and gather it in, I think it's five minutes, and else your items disappear. On our server, we have a way of kind of saving your items. And what it does is it puts, there you go, a chest. It's called Tombstone. It tells who died, by what, and when. This chest, unlike the normal items, which despawn after five minutes, the chest will stay for 20 minutes. So it's very useful. Another useful thing that I'm going to show while my whole death that there's is compasses are extremely useful to use for tons of reasons. Why? Well, one, it points to your spawn point location, but it also will point to your last death and the world spawn. All you do is just right click and it'll switch between them. So, you know, if you died and you have a compass and a chest, in your the only the nothing to pass through is a GM thing it doesn't show up when you try and do it um, but it'll definitely help you try and find where the heck you died in this huge maze of caverns because it will point to oh, if I don't fall in the water which I saw that coming 
point to your last death location. So it's extremely useful for finding um, your chest. Come on, get up here. Sorry about this, I didn't mean to fall there. Um, so use a compass to find your death location. Then when you get here, all you do is just right click the sign and you get your stuff back. And it tries to put it back in the order that it was when it was uh, in your inventory. Um, and then all the stuff up here, but it doesn't always get it right. But either way, it aut automatically puts everything into... Um, back into your inventory. Oh, before I forget, I do want to mention one thing about this chest thing. We uh, in the server do consider a griefing if you claim the stuff in another person's chest. Currently, there's no easy way to prevent you from doing that. We can find out, however, who did steal stuff from another player. So if you died and somebody ended up walking over to your chest and stealing your stuff and you wandered over and you knew exactly where you died, you used your compass and everything, report it using, once again, the report command and just, if I could spell it lovely, <laughs> report. There we go. And if you don't know who it is, you can just say this and then say, you know, tombstone stolen. We can go into that location where you made the, the report and see by searching who stole your chest. So if you find a chest somewhere around and it's not yours, do not take it because we will consider that griefing and you will be banned or punished in our server for doing so. So definitely make sure you leave those chests alone or at least help the person find their chest again. Uh, but the chest will only stay there for 20 minutes and then go away. Now I'm going to show you another amazing plugin that we have. So hold on.